Hello everyone, I am Brianna and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of April 15th through the 21st. Let's get started. <music> How is everyone today? I hope that you are having a great week so far. I know that we are just beginning. It is actually Tuesday the 16th. I am behind on my planning. There's just so much going on in life that I just haven't had a moment to sit down and decorate my pages and plan. But I knew I had to get it done today because I rely on my planner and I'm sitting here like, ah, what do I have to do? Um, I could easily look at my monthly view, but having everything broken down in my week is so helpful for my brain to see. And then just having a space to write things that um, are like to-dos, but like actually need to get done the certain day. Um, so I have everything spread out in front of me. My initial thought for decorating um, was planner perfect and I think that's the route I'm gonna go. I have the three washi tapes here that came in the April box as well as the stickers that came in the box. I have those here too. I'm gonna try to create something. I have a hand can plan journaling kit. This was from the advent and I'm going to use these little day of the week stickers. I have never used these little circles. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what they look like on the paper. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? I have some blue, uh, a mild liner and this is an Erin Condren fine tip pen or a marker. I have been using this marker a lot in my Hobonichi journal, which I have that out here too. I love this sticker. You guys, it is Southern Belle Plans. I mean, look at how pretty that is. I love that. I have so many stickers from Southern Belle Plans, I guess. I mean, here's just a stack of them. And what I decided is that I'm going to hopefully finish out the year in my Hobonichi Han with Southern Bell Plans stickers. Um, I know that I am part of the PR team over there. Um, so that's not really the exact reason why I am using it strictly. Um, I just fell in love with all of the stickers. They are just so, so pretty. Um, I just, I don't know. They're just gorgeous. I love them all. Uh, but I do have a code and it's Brianna 10. I will put that in the description. If that is something that you're interested in buying, I, um, think that they work great on the Hobonichi paper. You know how I was having a hard time last year with stickers and planning in this book, but I am not having any issues, um, this year as I am journaling through all of the pages. One day I will share the inside of this book and show you how I'm using it. I know that I say that often, um, but I will one day. <laughs> I just need to find the time to sit down and share about that. Okay, so I guess enough of this talk. I had this one out because I was writing in it before. I was like, oh, you know, maybe I should film because I need to set up this week. I'm gonna put this guy to the side. I feel a little cramped here. Still haven't decided which washi I should use. I wanted to look through these photos and see what would go best with the stickers that are provided. I kind of want to use this beautiful hummingbird. I might go with this one. This is a really fun design. I like this one. Well, I guess maybe fun is the wrong word to use, but um, it's just really simple. I have a um, 
journal with this on the cover and I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. But I do wanna use this too and I like how these two look together. So I'm gonna to have to try to like play around with some layouts here and some colors when I go to decorate my pages. So I am in a size wide with Planner Perfect. This is a everyday organized. I'm gonna move my journal to you guys because this thing, I mean, it's getting in the way. Now I can kind of spread out all of my things that I'm going to use today. Okay, um, let's see here, what was I saying? Oh, everyday organized. It has like this little flap here where you can stick some stuff in, a pocket here. Um, I keep all of my books in, in the back. It has like a little pocket back here, has a pocket back here, um, which I don't really utilize. Also, I made a decision. I have officially paused my Coco Daisy. Um, I'm not gonna get it for June. And I already received my May items. I'm gonna look through that, see exactly what I want out of there, and then I might sell the rest of it. Um, I just sold some of the April items and I just think it's smart that if you're not going to use something, just sell it. Um, there's no use in really having it sit around your home. Um, at least that's how I feel. I don't know how a lot of these affiliates... Okay, I had to pause there for my kids. Um, all I was doing was whiting out the day of the week. Anyway, so what I was saying is companies like Erin Condren, they're so generous with the affiliates and sending stuff in a box for them to, for these um, affiliates to review the products. And I mean, I was lucky enough to get a box last year for uh, the teacher, or not the teacher, the homeschool planner. And it came with a bunch of other things as well. But I, you know, like if you're not going to use something, it's great to review it and everything like that. But I don't think I could handle like storing everything if I wasn't going to use it, you know? Um, so I can see giving stuff away in that scenario. Um, but on the items that I purchase, like with Coco Daisy, I like to sell those. I mean, it seems to be working. I, you know, I'm successful with selling my stuff. You know, there are people out there who want to buy. Um, so that's good. Okay, I, hmm, I think I'm just going to commit to using these two washies together. And then I will figure out the sticker situation after. Okay, I said it was the 15th, right? I don't wanna, yes, okay. Let me date this really quick. So I am still loving this six month agenda. It has been so helpful having just the weekly or actually have the monthly, but having the weekly view and not worrying about the extra pages um, and not being stressed about filling everything out and filling it up um, has just been really nice. Okay, I had to pause again for another child. I they're on like a little school break right now and not like a spring break, but like a break in the day. And so I was like, oh, this is the perfect time for me to film a video real quick. But they have been needing me and coming in to ask questions. Um, I can't even remember what I was saying. 
Let's think, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, the six month agenda. Um, yeah, and not being stressed about filling, you know, the page with, um, anything really, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. The struggle is real for me. I feel like I needed to fill up that space and I would tell myself that, you know, a blank space is okay. Um, but really I love the look of my pages when they were all full. Um, so having a notebook in here that has that blank space, if I need it to expand on a certain day, then it's there. And so I just, I really enjoy that a lot. Okay, so I think it's smart for me to decorate first. I know that sometimes I like to decorate a little bit and then put my plans in and then finish the decorating with like stickers and stuff. But I have found that I was actually um, covering up some things that I wrote down because I wanted cute stickers in that certain space. This week isn't going to be super, super hectic. Um, yesterday we had our CC day for homeschooling. Got back and actually I think I want more of this. Let's see, to show. Do I want it down here? No, I'm gonna do it up here. Um, so we did that yesterday and then Today, it's just, you know, chores, laundry, getting the kids ready for school. And so they're doing school. And um, and then later, I pick up my brother and my dad from the airport. They're flying in for a few days. They are going to help my... Oh, this is not working. Okay, I'm doing this kind of backwards. Um, they're coming to help my grandparents move to Arizona. I'm going to throw this piece away and start over. Um, yeah, my grandparents, they're moving to Arizona. So that'll be my brother and sister-in-law and my parents and now my grandparents in Arizona. So last week... This is, oh look at that's coming up. Uh, why is that coming up? Oh look, looks like it came up and then got some hair from my sweatshirt and then now it won't stick back down. Okay, I have to be careful and mindful about that. Um, you know, sometimes you get washi that is like super sticky and then sometimes it's not, so we'll have to figure that out as we go along. So last week, here is how it turned out. Um, I, I don't even know if I finished filling this out. So Saturday we had pizza out at a restaurant. Sunday, what did I make on Sunday? Oh, I know. So we get that, um, is it nan or non bread, the N-A-A-N bread? Um, and then we put pesto and chicken. I'll grill up some chicken and I put chicken on it. Tomatoes, red onion, and mozzarella. And then I warm it up in the oven. So that's what we had that night. And everybody loves that. It is, it's so good. Um, but the solar eclipse, that was really fun last week. We um, were at our CC community day. And so all of um, the campus, we were able to gather together and, you know, we had the glasses. My husband showed up with um, a, some welding helmets, you know, to look through it, which was kind of cool. Um, so we did that. And then the week was just the basic piano and speech and youth group and tutoring and um, on Friday we did laser tag. Um, some of the kids from our CC community met together and we did laser tag or the kids did and that was super fun for them and then my son had 
a soccer game that he went to. And I don't know, it was just a really good week last week. Um, busy <laughs> as always, but um, it was a good week. Okay, I think let me write our weather down. So far, I haven't put you on fast mode here to plan. Um, so that's gonna be a little bit different this week. Okay, 70, we're gonna have some nice weather this week. It was kind of weird because last week we had some beautiful weather, Tuesday and Wednesday. It was definitely warmer than 70 and 73. It was pool weather for sure. Like we needed to go to the pool. Uh, but since we were so busy, we weren't able to, so we were bummed. And then Friday and Saturday, it was raining. Was it Friday and Saturday? Maybe Saturday, not Friday, Saturday and Sunday, mainly Saturday, it was raining. Um, and we, so we were kind of bummed out like, oh no. I mean, I love the rain, but the kids are ready for pool weather. Um, so it's nice that we're gonna have some weather, nice weather here this week. And since uh, we're gonna be busy, we might not be able to make it to the pool again this week. So they're gonna be kind of bummed about that. But my husband might take the kids up to the mountains again to go snowboarding one last time. Okay, what do we have? So yesterday, I had my house cleaned. It was the CC community day. What did we do for dinner? Burgers. Okay, so we did, I we do burgers. I wanna say often. We haven't done it in a while though. And the reason why I love it is because I make homemade fries with these Jersey sweet potatoes. They're white, not the orange ones, and they make perfect French fries. Um, I don't know, the taste is amazing and I absolutely love it. So I was really craving French fries after the CC day yesterday. Um, so that's why we made it. Um, so tutoring today is actually, I canceled it um, because I have to pick up to go to the airport so when do I have to do that and actually there's no speech therapy today either because um, she canceled that I actually look at this I'm clearing my schedule canceled piano tomorrow because we're gonna be helping let's see um, so there's baseball got to figure that out this game night I'm not sure if that's happening and then we have games on Saturday and church. Okay, did you guys see how I kind of fixed my monthly calendar? Um, I was looking at this and to me, this is so jumbled and I don't know what's going on and it seems frantic. But over here, look at, it's color coded. Well, not really color coded, but I have a bunch of colors highlighting different things that are going on and it just makes my eyes like not go crazy because I could just focus in on certain things like pianos all pink and baseball is all of this like teal color and um, the tutoring and speech therapy are gray you know so this helps so much and I'm going to start doing this every month um, so that I like the things stand out and I'm not like super confused as to what's going on. I still don't know what I wanna put in this sidebar. I was trying to put like the main like repetitive things that were happening, but I found I didn't really use it because I wrote it over here. So I don't know, but I love the look of this and all the different colors. So I definitely need to do that for May. And I have a couple things written in here, but I think I'm going to wipe them out and just completely start over and use a pen that is a smaller um, tip than even what I'm using for this fine tip tool pen and have that in there. Okay, that was a little side note. Let's see what else I can add. 
you know, maybe I am going to put you on fast mode for this and then I'll be back to chat with you guys. Okay, this is what I have so far. Um, I don't know if you, or if it was going too fast, but you see I covered up some of the writing that I did um, down here. I have to rewrite it. Okay, so tomorrow we were having steak and potatoes. I'm also gonna make a Caesar salad. Um, so I, I like how this turned out. I didn't know how it was going to go because um, Planner Perfect has a lot of these bigger stickers and sometimes that's hard to place around. I feel like this is very interesting how it turned out with the blues and the purples and the pinks and like all the colors, uh, but I kind of like it. It is different. What I think I'm going to add though, I have this watering can. Um, I might just put the tools like the gardening tools that she also provided on these pages i don't quite know where <laughs> um where i would want them or if they would even look good hmm maybe they won't i mean maybe this maybe just on this one no okay maybe just do the shovel I don't know. It's so hard to make a decision when you have so many stickers, but also a theme that you want to stick with. Like on the thing that she put like on the um, sticker sheet for the month of April, she put strawberries and like these ladybugs, but, and like the rain boots, but I don't want to have red on this. So it's kind of like I'm limited a little bit to what I can use. Um, like there are these butterflies, but I am not going to use those. And then sometimes the bird is facing the wrong way. Like maybe I would put a bird here or something, but it's facing that way. And I wish it was facing this other way. So maybe if I can find a bird that is facing the correct way, Hmm, don't know, I think. I think I'm gonna call it good. Well, I might be able to, no, that might be too busy. Okay, this is like the summer stuff that I'm getting into here. Hmm. Sunglasses might be fun since it's hot, but this is more like a gardening. Theme. I think I might call it quits and be done for right now. Hmm. Although this cup of coffee is kind of fun. I forgot that she did this that one month over the summer where it was more of like, like these kind of stickers. Oh, I kind of like that now. I might use some of these around the pages. Let's see, where would this one go? best. I kind of wish I didn't put this one down now. I'm going to put that there. And then I am going to see if I need anything else. Make these glasses. Where would we put them though? They kind of don't really go. Okay. No on the glasses. A pen? No. This cup doesn't really go either. But good thing there's a little bit of brown in that shovel to make it feel better than it actually looks. Okay. Um, okay, now this is all fall stuff. And I think we're going to get into Christmas. And then I think there's anything else back here. No. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to... Let me just look in the front. See if there's anything really quick that... I want to use. Will any of these girls go? I 
don't think so. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to be done. Yeah, okay. So here is my week so far. I might, well, I can't take it up. I was like, I might take that, take that out, but I don't think I can. Maybe I'll add a butterfly or something. I don't know. I'll do that after the fact. <laughs> this is what my week looks like so far. It isn't a crazy week and I love that. Um, but I like how I was able to utilize all the Planner Perfect stickers and um, the washi and kind of make it work with like layering some and just making it look cute. I really do like it. Um, all right, I guess this is it. I will see you all on my next video. I hope that you have a wonderful week um, and that you get everything that you planned done. And if you didn't, that's okay. Oh, and all of my go wild friends, I hope that you all have so much fun. One year I will make it to go wild. This year wasn't the year, um, but I know that you all are going to have a blast and I can't wait to see all of the fun pictures and videos and just hear all about it. All right, well, a few more things before I end this video. For Planner Perfect, I am an ambassador and you can use my code Brianna20 on a one-time purchase. You could load your cart up with anything that you want. It excludes all leathers though. So um, it works on the plan books, the journals, the notebooks, charms, like everything except the leather. Um, but it is 20% off of your purchase. So I find that it's helpful to maybe load a bunch of stuff in because then it really knocks down that price. Um, you can also use it on sub boxes if you want. So that is helpful. Um, and then make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I would love for you to stick around and become a little planner friend of mine. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know below. I'd be happy to answer them, but you guys will talk soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.